In this video, I'm going to use ChatGPT to help me interpret code. Now, you could do this with Python, with SQL, but I'm going to do it with VBA. The reason I'm going to do it with VBA is that we've all opened an Excel model, a financial model in the past, where someone a few years before us has written a macro that's still used in the model, but no one knows what it does. Imagine we're trying to revamp that model, move it into a more modern tool instead of VBA, but we still need to know what the VBA is doing so we can replicate that somewhere else. So here I've opened two functions in VBA that I found in this model. One is called last R, one is called last C, but I don't know what they do. Let's see if ChatGPT can tell me. I'm simply going to copy those across into ChatGPT, paste the code in there, and then ask it, please, tell me what this VBA code is used for. Let's see what it comes up with. ChatGPT has come up with a fairly concise answer. Let's see what it said. These two VBA functions are used to find the last non-empty row and column in a specified workbook and worksheet in Excel. That's helpful. It gives me a brief rundown about how that search will be conducted. Now, as well as tell me what this function does, ChatGPT is telling me there's a bug in both functions where if an error occurs, such as a completely empty worksheet, the code attempts to assign a value to undefined variables, Excel last row and last column. So let's ask ChatGPT what we need to change in the code in order to fix it. ChatGPT has given me two corrected functions, and on comparison with my original functions, I can see that it's this part of the code that needed to change. So not only has ChatGPT and ChatGPT4 in this case told me what these functions do, but it's also given me some advice on how to fix them and make them perform better. Now, as with anything that comes from ChatGPT, it's a good idea to test what it's given you before you implement it on any production system or any production code. Test it in another workbook before you implement the changes.